Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a screen replacement on this HP Omen gaming laptop. Let me show you the model number first. The fine print is too small, so I wrote it down here. This is the 15-CE198WM model. And let me show you what happened to the LCD screen. So, if you take a look here, um, there was a very hard impact on this area. So something was hit onto the screen and now the screen is all fuzzy and pixelated in color. So that tells me the screen is broken. Now there's one way to test it out. I connect the laptop through the HDMI. So there's an HDMI port on this side right here. So I connect the HDMI to the TV and, as, and I was able to see my display screen. So I know that the computer still work, just that I need a screen replacement uh, for, for my laptop. So let me go ahead and turn off the, uh, the computer here. Okay, so now the computer is shut off. And this is what we call the bezel. This bezel is double-sided adhesive tape onto the LCD screen. So what you need is the uh, metal prying tool. Let's go ahead and cut the adhesive and be gently open up the bezel. So the bezel has uh, kind of like a clip on and as you pry it open, you can hear that the clip is popping. The same time is the adhesive has to be cut as well. So the tape, you just want to make sure you cut the tape out and that's how we remove the bezel. So what I will do, I will list the uh, the tools in the description below and the link would direct you to Amazon or eBay where you can go ahead and buy the tools as well as the replacement screen. I got myself a used um, replacement screen so I'll go ahead and install that in this video and you get to see um, the replacement process. Now, once I open up the bezel, okay, it is ready to, um, it is ready to be put it on the side here. Now, the next step I like to do is to get a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the screw. There are four screws total. Once you remove all the four screws, the LCD screen should be able to come out. Now do not disconnect the screen yet because we need to uh, make sure this cable is disconnected. So go ahead and remove this um, tape. And when you get to the tape is removed, be gently and slowly pull the entire cable away from your body. All right, so pull it away from your body. There's no secure clipper or anything lock onto the connector. It's just the tape that is securing it. So once you have the tape open up, just slide that cable connector away from your body. Now, if you turn it around, let me show it to you. If you're going to buy the screen, go ahead and look it up for this model. B156 HAN 04.1. Okay, so the company who made this is AU Optronics. Now I do have a replacement screen. This is the U screen that I bought. It's exactly the same from the HP, and this is the original OEM. Now, but this company is made from different brand. It's N. 156 HCE 
dash EAA. So let's go ahead and find out if this screen is going to work. We claims to be a used computer from the HP original screen and we'll find out. Now to install the cable, go ahead and make sure the cable is sliding first. Stick it all the way in and then have the tape to re-tape and secure that cable so it doesn't fall out. Go ahead and set up the screen. And now we're going to put the screw back on. Okay, once I have all the screws into the screen, we got to put the bezel back on here. What I would like to do is I like to align the front webcam first. Make sure it's in the right position. I have a few clicks on it. Now I'm going to work my way at the bottom here. And then I'll work on the side. I'm just gonna press it down. Like I said, they have a clipper and the double-sided tape should pick up by itself. So you see how I have my hand in the back of the screen? I'm supporting the press from the front here. So try not to press without any support from the back of the screen. You do not want to press and then break the LCD, right? So I have a support, I'm just gently pressing on the bezel so that the clipper can go back in all right looks like the clippers are all back in without any problem now the next step i like to do is to turn on and see if i can see the display all right i can see that the the omen logo and the windows is booting up so there's no more fuzzy screen. This look very good to me. And here you go. All right, so the display is perfect. And uh, yeah, if this video helps to change out the screen for you, please go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let me know if you're able to fix your own laptop screen. So I look forward to your comment. And I wish you luck on your repair. Take care now. Bye.